as I said in the last video, we're going straight on to the next one. And this one is the coral wheel square for Finding Nemo. So we're using the coral and the white for this square. And we're starting off with a slip knot on our hook. So I'll just make that one and pull that one tight. And the next step is to chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five and we want to do a slip stitch into the first chain so count back your five stitches into the first one and pull up a loop and pull that one straight through the loop that's on your hook we're then chaining one and we want to do double crochets into the ring so pull each side apart so you can find the center and then we're going into the center of the stitch pulling up a loop so you've got two on your hook, yarning over and pulling through both and we've done one. Into the centre, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both, there's two and three and four. Now I can't tell you exactly how many there should be for anyone that's new to my videos. These patterns come from a Disney crochet magazine subscription and therefore are not my own so due to copyright I cannot give the full pattern in the videos and these are purely a guide for the people that buy the magazines to follow along to make the patterns so for all those that have got the magazine if you have a look at the coral wheel square pattern under round one it will tell you how many double crochets you need to do into the center of the ring i'm going to finish that one off and i will meet you at the end of the round so once you've done all the double crochets that the book says to do we want to finish off this round with a slip stitch into our first stitch that we did so there's the last one that I've done just coming off my hook. You can see the first one just here with your V. So go in through there and pull up a loop and then pull that one straight through. And that is round one complete. For round two, we're chaining four. One, two, three, and four. Into our next stitch we need to do a treble and then a chain. So we're yarning over and into our next stitch and pull up a loop and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, we're then chaining one and then repeating this around. So yarn over into your next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one if you keep going all the way around i'll meet you at the end of the round to show you how to finish it off i've just done my last treble followed by the one chain and after that we are doing a slip stitch into the three chains that we did at the beginning of the round which are just here so we can count up three and go into the third, pull a loop through and pull that one through the loop on your hook and you finish round two. For round three we're chaining one and then we're doing two double crochets into the next one chain space followed by a chain. So under where we've just slip stitched into you've got your gap. So we're going into that gap and we're doing a double crochet. We're then going to do another double crochet into that gap and we're then going to chain one. So into our next gap, one double crochet, one double crochet, chain one. Into the next, one double crochet, one double crochet, chain one. Do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. To finish this round off we need to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet at the start of the round. So you can see the V just here. I'm going in through that one, pulling up a loop and pulling that one through the loop on my hook and that's the end of round three. 
So round four. Slip stitch into the next a double crochet stitch that you did from the last round. And there should now be a one chain space. Slip stitch into that one as well. After that, we're doing three chains. One, two, and three. And doing a treble into the same one chain space that we just did that slip stitch into. So yarn over and into that space, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one. And then we're going to do two trebles into the next one chain space. So if you yarn over ready, you've got your double crochet there that you did in the last round. And then the next one is the double crochet because you did two double crochets followed by a one chain. So you've got a double crochet, a double crochet, and then a one chain gap space. If I lift it up, you'll be able to see it. So we're going in through the gap in through the hole here. So once you've yarned over, in through your hole, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then another one of those trebles into that one chain space. And then chain one. Yarn over again, miss two stitches, and into the one chain space. Pull through two, pull through two, Yarn over into your same space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. Miss two stitches again and into the one chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and then another treble into that same space and chain one. So what you're essentially doing here is missing two stitches two trebles into the one chain space, followed by one chain, and going all the way around, I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I've gone all the way around. We then want to finish off round four with a slip stitch into the third chain. So we've got three chains just here that we did at the beginning of the round. We're going into the third one, pulling up a loop and pulling that one through, and there's round four finished. So round five, we're chaining three. One, two, and three. We then want to slip stitch into the next one chain space, which is the space just here. So we're going in through and pulling up a loop and then pulling that one through the one on our hook. We're then repeating that. So chain three, one, two, and three, and a slip stitch into the next chain space. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and one slip stitch into the next one chain space. And then we're repeating that going around. So chain three, one, two, and three, a slip stitch into the next space. Chain three, one, two, three, a slip stitch. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and a slip stitch into the space. Repeating again, chain three, that's one, two, and three, slip stitch into the space. Chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the space. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five and slip stitch into the next space once more so chain three one two and three into the space with a slip stitch chain three so one two and three and into the space we are then chaining three again so one two and three and we want to join with a half treble into the first chain space so that's this one so yarn over and into that space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three on our hook and we finish round five for round six we're chaining three one two 
and three and we want to do three half trebles into the same space that our chains are coming out from so yarn over into the space and pull up a loop you've got three on your hook yarn over and pull through all three so there's one two and three we then want to do three travels into each of the next two three chain spaces so yarn over we're then pulling this one up because you've got your chain stitches here we're going in through this gap now so in through that gap pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and we needed to do three trebles into that space so there's our second treble and our third we then need to do three trebles into the next one so pull that one up to find your space there's one two and three into the next space we're going to start forming our corners for our square now you want to do four trebles two chains and four trebles so there's one and two three and four trebles I'll chain two one and two and four more trebles into that space one two three and four so we will now just be repeating so into your next space is three trebles one two and three three in the next one two and three and in our next corner it's four trebles two chains and four trebles so there's one two three and four two chains and another four trebles one two three and four so if you continue around it's three trebles in the next three trebles in the next and then four trebles two chains four trebles in your corner and then three trebles three trebles and if you stop at this space, I will show you what you need to do. So in the last space for this round, we are doing four trebles. One, two, three, and four. We're then chaining one and we want to join with a double crochet into the third chain from what we did at the beginning so go in through pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both and there's the end of round six for round seven we're chaining three one two and three and we want to do a treble into the corner space so yarn over and into the corner pull up a loop yarn over pull through two a yarn over and pull through two we're then doing a treble into each of the next 14 stitches along so yarn over into your first stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and there's one into your next stitch There's two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And we're now at our corner space. So into the corner space, we're doing two trebles, two chains, and two trebles. So yarn over into your corner. We're doing one treble, two treble two chains and then two trebles one and two so remember to treble along your corners are two trebles two chains two trebles and i'll meet you at the end of the round so when you get to your last corner of round seven you want to do two trebles into the corner space one and two we're then chaining one and joining with a double crochet into the third chain from the chains that we did at the beginning so pull a loop through yarn over and pull through both and there's round seven finished for round eight we're chaining three one two and three and we're then doing a treble into each of the next 18 trebles along. And your corners add one treble, two chains and one treble. So yarn over into your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we've done one treble. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Into the corner, it's one treble, two chains, one treble. So there's one treble, two chains, and one treble. If you treble along, one treble, two chains, one treble in the corners, I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm at the corner, and I want to do one treble into the corner space then one chain and then finish off with a double crochet into the third chain so you've got your three chain stitches here and I'm going in through the third pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both and now we can move on to round nine so we need to chain one and then we want to do a double crochet into our corner space so go into your corner and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both we're then going to double crochet along and there will be 20 stitches. So into your first, this one's quite tight for me for some reason. Two, 
pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both and I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. We're now at the corner and into the corner you want to do one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. So one double crochet, two chains and then one double crochet. If you continue along with your double crochets in the corner it's one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So at the last corner, we're doing a double crochet into the corner space. We then need to chain two, one and two, and join with a slip stitch in our first stitch we did. So you can see the V there at the start of the round. So go into that one and pull up a loop and pull through both. You can now fasten that one off and then join your white to any of the corner spaces and we will do the final border. So onto the border round in the white, I've joined it to one of my corner spaces and then I want to chain two, one and two. I then want to do ten half trebles into the next ten stitches. So if you yarn over into your first stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over into your next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and we've done two. Into your next, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten into the next stitch we're going to do two half trebles so yarn over into your next stitch there's one yarn over into your same stitch you've done two half trebles into that stitch we then want to do a half treble into each of the next 11 stitches so into your next there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Into the corner space we need to do one half treble, two chains and one half treble. So yarn over, into the corner, pull up a loop, there's one half treble, two chains and one half treble. So it's ten half trebles, two in the next, eleven half trebles, the corners are one half treble, two chains, one half treble. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm nearly at the end of this round. I just need to do the final stitches into the corner. So it's one half treble into the corner space. I've yarned over into the corner, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Chain two, one and two. And now we need to do a slip stitch into the second chain from the start of the round. So into that one, pull up a loop, pull it through the loop on your hook and you can now fasten off. 
so there is your Finding Nemo Coral Wheel Square Complete. I do hope you've enjoyed making this one. I quite like this one. I thought it was quite different doing all the, the different stitches at the beginning. It's just a shame that we had to do standard sort of um, trebles from there on. It would have been nice to sort of keep up with a similar sort of intricate pattern, but hopefully we'll get to do that at a later stage. If you have used this video and you are making the Disney squares, please do remember to leave this video a like so I can gauge how many people are still using them. As I've said in the past, if you know I don't get a high reception with the videos, if there aren't a lot of likes left and I don't think people are using the videos, it does seem silly for me to continue with them when they do take up hours and hours and hours of my time every week. Of course I don't mind doing it, I love making the videos, but I don't want to obviously be wasting my time in making them if no one's using them. If you would like to leave a comment below, I will reply to every single comment. If you need any help or anything like that, it would be nice to hear from you. And also just remember to hit that subscribe button if you do want a notification for when the next video is published. So I guess until the next one, it's just time to say have a fantastic week and I will see you soon. Bye.